Hi, I'm Dr. Irfana Koita, Fertility Consultant. I'll now talk to you about the various types of fertility treatment. First of all, we have what is known as ovulation induction. Now, this is a form of treatment which is more suited for someone who's not ovulating. We tend to give medication in order to release the egg from the ovaries. The second form of treatment is what is known as IUI or intrauterine insemination treatment. This is a form of treatment which is more suited for someone who is ovulating, has tubes which are open, there are no lumps and bumps in the womb cavity and where the sperm quality is reasonably good. In this form of treatment, we tend to filter the sperm and then squirt the sperm sample into the womb cavity. So it's quite simple, straightforward, non-invasive form of treatment. Then we come to what is known as IVF treatment or in vitro fertilization treatment. Nowadays, this is very commonly performed. The advantages of IVF treatment is that we collect the eggs, take the sperm, create embryos in the lab, and once we've done that, the fertilized egg, which is now the embryo, gets deposited into the womb cavity. This is a, an extremely common and extremely efficient way of dealing with fertility problems, whether it's because of female subfertility or male subfertility. There are other types of treatments whereby, you know, in those who have genetic predispositions, we can screen the embryos and then put the screen embryo inside the womb cavity. So essentially it is performing IVF treatment and then screening the embryos in order to put back the best quality embryo. These are known as pre-implantation genetic diagnosis where there is a unknown predisposition to a genetic disorder or pre-implantation genetic screening whereby we're only screening the embryo in someone who is high risk of having abnormal embryos, such as women who are over 40 years of age. Then we have surrogacy. In this situation, we create the embryos and put it into another woman who is able to carry the pregnancy for you. Lastly is what is known as donor conception. In this, one would either use donated eggs or donated sperm depending on your needs. These donated egg or sperm give one a very good chance of conceiving and hence tend to be popular in situations where one is not making egg or eggs and or sperm. So in a nutshell these are the various options and usually between them you, one is able to find a treatment option which may be more suitable for you. Of course, the treatment will be tailored to your needs and we will make sure that you feel comfortable with the treatment option that is suggested. So feel free to contact us and we will make a plan based on your needs. So see you soon. Good luck.